we better be willing amen but he didn't stop there you know why because almost any ordinary common girl out of courtesy would have given him a drink amen but any ordinary common girl would not do for the groom she must be special so he goes on to pray I'm gonna ask her for a drink she's got to give me a drink and then give my ten camels something to drink without me even asking her to so he began to pray knowing that she was going to be put to a test that she didn't even realize she was being tested on now that's not fair if I'm going to take a test, I want to know what I'm being tested on. But in order for her to be the one, she'd have to have a special calling on her, a special anointing on her, and she would have to be preordained to do a specific work. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. We have to find the right girl. She must be special. Requirement number three for the bride of Isaac. She must go above and beyond the call of duty to complete the specific work. The Bible tells us that Rebecca was the very first woman to arrive. That speaks a lot about her character because all of the young ladies were required to draw water from the well. It was not easy. I'm sure it was difficult. But Rebecca was the first one on the scene. Oh, let the church of God be the first one on the scene. Let us be the one that's the first one there to meet the needs of the people. This world has needs and they are looking. Let us be the one to answer that need. So Rebecca shows up the very first one. <laughs> and it says in verse 17, And the servant ran to meet her and said, Let me, I pray thee, drink a little water of thy pitcher and she said drink my lord and she hasted and let down her pitcher upon her hand and gave him drink now up to this point rebecca had done what was expected what any ordinary common girl would do but here is when the true test begins would God lay a specific work upon her heart and would she be willing to go above and beyond the call of duty to accomplish it? Why did the servant pick camels? We'll never know. But they were animals. They were less than desirable. Probably overlooked by most everyone. They were hot, dirty, smelly creatures. But whoever was going to be the bride was called to serve the camels. An ordinary girl might have walked away from those dirty, smelly ordinary animals but not the bride not the bride amen 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 to give those camels enough water to drink would take a lot of time and energy I'm sure she had a pitcher but he had ten camels she would have to quench the thirst of ten camels that had just made a long journey. Verse 19 tells us, And when she had done giving him drink, 
she said, I will draw water for thy camels also until they have done drinking. And she hastened and emptied her pitcher into the trough and ran again unto the well to draw water and drew for all his camels. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She took care of his need. But then she went further and said, I will draw for all of your camels. Who would have thought that the daughter-in-law of Abraham would first be called to serve camels? If we stay in the church of God, the end result will be perfection. And she will be presented to Jesus to be his bride forevermore. That's the good part. That's the shouting part. That's the part that everybody wants to be involved with. But to get us ready for perfection, the church of God is called to serve camels. Amen. Amen. Rebecca started that way. Yes, she did. She started working with those that were less than desirable. There are people out there that the organizations of this world are turning their back on. They are less than desirable. They aren't rich enough. They aren't smart enough. They may be dirty. They may be smelly. And they are not needed by the organizations of this world. I'm here to tell you the church of God is called to serve camels. Amen. Amen. Rebecca had to get her pitcher and go to the well and give them water and go back to the well and give them water and go back to the well and give them water. It was not easy. They took a lot of time. They took a lot of energy, but she was willing to serve them. Church of God, what we are getting ready to do, this great commission is not going to be easy. It's going to take somebody that goes to the well and gets a hold of the water and begins to pour it out and feed them. Somebody to go back to the well, get filled up, and go back and feed them. There are people everywhere that need to know that Jesus is waiting to be their Savior. And you know who's called to serve them? The bride. <laughs> the bride. Rebecca was called to serve camels. Church, you better get your picture ready. We're called to serve this world. We are to be a servant. Yes, we are. And to serve this world. Hallelujah. 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 Requirement number three for the Jesus' bride. She must go above and beyond and do the specific work. Do you realize Rebecca had a calling that nobody else had? Those camels. The church of God is the only one given the Great Commission. The only one that can give the whole truth to this whole world. We are called to serve, go above and beyond to do the specific work. Hallelujah. It says, not only did Rebecca do it, but it said she ran to the well. If I had to feed 10 camels, I think I might have taken my time and paced myself. Sometimes in the church, we take our time and we pace ourselves. This job is so big, we'll just take our time going at it. But it says, Rebecca ran to the well. It was hard work, but she got a spirit inside of her that made it a joy to her. There are people that say the church of God is too hard, but she is not.